covered with an endless blanket of snow and ice, the Antarctic is one of the most forbidding places on Earth. Yet this seemingly sterile polar desert is teeming with life. And no other animal symbolizes the Antarctic like the emperor penguin. They are the only birds hardy enough to brave the extremes of Antarctica, winter and summer. To learn more about penguins, scientists have set up research stations near emperor nesting sites. They are studying how these birds can adapt to harsh conditions. Back out the Sierra 026 Cape Washington. Early morning check-in, over. Jerry Coyman feels a strong bond to this place. He's been coming here for over 30 years. How about yourself, over? A typical day in the Antarctic, or my favorite day anyway, is when we're in the field. The field means that we're in a remote camp, which is a necessity if you work on emperor penguins. A lot of it occurs in the colony, where we may be doing weights and measures of the birds or attaching instruments for remote monitoring. To study penguins underwater, electronic instrument packages are glued to their feathers. The equipment will monitor the duration and depth of each dive, as well as the penguin's heart rate. When the procedure is done, the protective cover of the tent is removed and the emperor makes its way back to the colony. Only now, this slightly awkward movie star is armed with a radio transmitter and is about to play a leading role in an important scientific investigation. The study begins when these clumsy, flightless birds enter the water and suddenly become aquanauts. Scientists constantly monitor their activities. The data reveals that by slowing their heart rate, emperors can hold their breath for up to 22 minutes, reach depths of over 1,500 feet, while swimming in the frigid waters of the Antarctic. These are extremes unmatched by any other bird on the planet. But now there is a new extreme on the horizon, and it's one that the mighty emperor penguin may not be able to handle. Global warming is beginning to melt the sea ice surrounding the Antarctic, and it could lead to the extinction of the species. <laughs> 